everyone, Polly Wog here, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own decorated fairy door. So in your kit, you've got little containers that are filled with paint. This is acrylic paint. It does wash out, but you just want to be careful because it's not as washable as tempera paint. So if you get it on your clothes, it could stain. So I just want to warn you to be careful when you're using that paint. You've also got a little bag full of goodies. You might have rocks, you might have a butterfly, you might have some leaves and some flowers, maybe a ladybug, maybe a little mushroom, all sorts of little goodies in your bag. You've also got a nice little wooden door. That's going to be the part that we decorate. I added a glue stick in there because you might want to hot glue some of that stuff that's in your bag. And then I also threw in some cute little fall sequins that are shaped like little leaves. So you'll notice based on all the different things in your kit, we kind of have a fall theme going on here. And I thought it would be fun to make a little fall fairy door. So I'm gonna go ahead and tilt my camera down and we'll get started. Okay, so I went ahead and painted my fairy door already, mostly because I didn't want you to have to watch me paint. So the first step you're gonna to wanna to do is use those paints in your kit and paint your fairy door however you'd like. I painted mine brown. I actually chose not to paint the back. Um, you can paint the back if you want to, but I chose not to do that for mine. And that's because I'm gonna end up covering a lot of my door up. So mine is already painted and my paint is nice and dry. And once your paint is dry and you're ready, you can start adding on lots of different things. So I'm gonna get my hot glue gun out. That's the only supply that you really need from home is your hot glue gun. I'm going to lay my door down and I'm just going to go ahead and start decorating. I've got some little pebbles here in my kit, so I'm going to go ahead and start gluing them onto the door. I'm going for a fairy door that kind of looks like it's out in nature, so I'm going to be covering mine with a lot of little pebbles and some leaves and some other decorations that make it look like this fairy lives out in the forest. You can see I'm just putting globs of hot glue and then I'm able to just press those little pebbles down onto the door. This is totally optional. You can decorate your door however you'd like. I'm just showing you how I'm choosing to decorate mine. You might choose to just add a few things from your kit. You might choose to use all the supplies in your kit. There's really no wrong way to decorate your door. Alternatively to be a fairy door, you could also decide that this is a door for little gnomes, if you prefer gnomes instead of fairies. My hot glue is running low, so I'm just going to grab that extra stick from my kit. And I'm just going to keep putting some pebbles on there. Okay, so this is how mine's looking so far. I'm just gonna add a few more pebbles and then I'm gonna move on to adding some of those leaves. Now you can also add different things that aren't in your kit. If you wanted to grab some leaves from outside or if you wanted to grab some different decorations that you might have on hand, you are welcome to decorate it however you see fit. Okay, I'm just going to use my finger to pull off any extra hot glue strings just so they're out of my way. I'm going to add my last two pebbles. Okay, so now my fairy door looks like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and decide what else I want on there. So in my kit, I've got a cute little butterfly. I'm going to go ahead and just attach that right there like that. I've got some different um, fake leaves that look like fall. So I've got a big maple leaf and I've got this um, really pretty tricolored leaf with different colors. I also went outside and found a few of these kind of leaves. These are just pine needle leaves. And then my kit also had some of these little white leaves in it. 
and I had a little ladybug and a couple of these little flowers. So I mentioned that I didn't do the back of my door and what I'm gonna do because I didn't paint the back of my door is I'm actually gonna go ahead and do a leaf on the back of my door that creeps up and goes around to the front of the door. So I'm putting a lot of hot glue on the back. And then I'm just gonna take my leaf and press it down into my hot glue. And you can see it's hanging off the side. I'm gonna take it and wrap it around to the front. So now the same thing as before, I'm gonna take my hot glue and I'm just gonna add a bunch of it to the front of the door where that leaf is gonna sit. It is gonna cover up some of my pebbles, but I'm making that choice. Now you're just gonna take it and fold it up and over if you're doing the same style as me. And now you can see that that leaf is wrapped around. So it really looks like this fairy door is out in nature now. I'm gonna take my butterfly off so that I can keep on decorating a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of these pine needles to mine. So same thing as I did with the other process of just adding some little strips of hot glue and then putting those right on top. Now, because those are real leaves, I just wanna be a little bit more careful pressing them down than I was for pressing down my pebbles and my fake um, leaf because they can break. I'm just gonna add a little bit more to mine right up here. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it back over and I've decided I'm gonna add that second leaf on the back here. And same thing as before, I'm gonna make it so it comes around the side just a little bit. So I'm taking my hot glue, I'm pressing it all over. I'm gonna take my leaf, push it into that hot glue, and then only a little bit made it around to the edge. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of hot glue to that leaf and press it down. Now you might have a lot of extra strings of hot glue at this point, so you can just pull those off. You wanna make sure not to pull too hard because you could pull off whatever's glued down. I'm gonna go ahead and add, I have a little ladybug in my kit, so I'm gonna add a little ladybug onto one of my leaves. And I'm actually making the choice to be done decorating right now. I'm just gonna add my little butterfly where it was before, and then I'm gonna be done. So that is my little fairy door, and you can see I did lots of decorations from inside my kit, but I still had a lot left over that I opted not to use. You are welcome to use as many of the materials in your kit as you'd like. All right, everyone, that's it for me. I hope you really enjoyed this mini lesson, and I'll see you for the next. See you later.